Hey, Hollywood Gatekeepers, Carolyn Carpenter here in our new studio. So excited. We actually have a studio. So professional. So welcome. I'm going to dive right in. I'm not sure how many live people will have, and I know a lot of people watch it on the replay. Douglas is here with us. Hooray, my faithful partner. He's awesome. So for those of you who have never been here before, I yammer on and Doug says the smart stuff. So the smart stuff. See, I can't even say the smart stuff. So we're just gonna start from the basics. We we cover a lot of things. If you scroll down in the Hollywood Gatekeepers page, it gives you a chance to do a little scroll dance and then you can see the different topics that we have. But in case you're new, I thought, you know what? We haven't done this for a while. Let's just kind of start with the basics. Like, what the heck is a reader? Some of you might just be like, wait, what? What is that? So we thought, you know, we'll just dive in, kind of explain that a little bit. It's at, also, there's a little bit of an explanation at the top of the page if you haven't seen the welcome video. Oh no, that's in the Facebook group. So, which is one of the things you should do. See, I get confused easily. That's why Doug's here. Hi, Doug. Hey. So, um, we have a Facebook group, a private Facebook group. If you have not joined that, why? You should. It's really cool. A lot of people in there, a lot of writers, a lot of readers, a lot of, there's some producers. There's, there's just, it's a really cool group. So if you haven't done that, definitely do that. And in there, there's a welcome video at the top that sort of explains it all. But just in case you're not in there yet, <laughs> because you know what, it takes, it takes our brains several times of hearing something before we can actually like remember it. At least it does for me, several times. So this is fun because, okay, I won't do that. <laughs> That's not good. Typically, I do these for my phone and I have to hold them, but now that we have the studio, because we have, big announcement, the Hollywood Gatekeepers podcast coming very soon to a podcast iTunes near you. So uh, we will keep you posted on that. So we've set up a studio so that we can do our podcast and we have so many cool guests. It's going to be very fun. So um, Bart's in, the, Cindy, Bart's in the house. Those are screen readers. Celebrity sighting, celebrity sighting. Yay, our screen readers are coming over to the gatekeepers. So we have an actual workshop that you can take to learn more about this. And these smart folks are in there and they are studio. <laughs> they are jamming in there. So um, it's nice to have you guys here with us. Uh, so yeah, if you have questions, you can ask them too. Cause... So yeah, let's just dive in. What the heck is a reader? Hmm. Well, a reader, yes, it's an actual thing. It's an actual job. Whenever I tell people that I'm a reader, they always go, you're what? You're an editor? No, I'm a reader. You're what? You're, and they always like have different things that it must be. But basically, production studios in Hollywood and now everywhere, they're everywhere. They're it's everywhere. Um, they need to decide what movies they'd like to do. So they call out for submissions and that's a whole nother topic of how to get a, a screenplay submitted to a production company because it's quite a process. But once your script finally makes it through that process, then um, basically producers reach out to agents, lawyers, and managers. Most production companies, I am going to go down there. I'm going there just for a little bit just so it makes more sense. Um, production companies will go through agents, lawyers, and managers. Every great once in a blue moon, they'll take a script from an unknown writer or someone who's not represented, but you have to sign all kinds of paperwork. So typically they won't accept a script from someone who's not, doesn't have representation. So, and the reason I'm telling you this, um, yes, that's true what Doug's saying. Um, the reason I'm telling you this is because all of those people need readers too. So that's why I wanted to go down there for a little bit. So all of those people, the, the lawyers, agents, managers, and the producers that are all looking to make movies, they get thousands and thousands of submissions. And even with representation, it's still hundreds and hundreds of submissions. They have so many screenplays that they need to read. And also producers are not just reading screenplays, they are out there getting actors and figuring out who's gonna direct the movie and raising money and where's it gonna film. And they are doing so much. They don't have time to sit down and read hundreds of screenplays. Hence the reader, that's where the reader comes in. So they hire people like moi, to sit and read screenplays. Well, sit, it's awesome because you can sit, you know, at the park and you can read screenplays and then you do what's called coverage or a coverage, depending on who you talk to. Um, and it's like a book report and you just write down, it's got a little graph where you, you judge the dialogue and the story and everything. And then it's got a little section for writing. Um, we actually have a whole podcast on this, or not podcast, see where my head's at, a whole Facebook live on this from last week on the 
the format of a coverage. And then you write kind of the summary of the script and then what's good and bad about it. So then um, kind of check in comments. So then you give that coverage back to producer, agent, lawyer, manager. Sometimes producers, there's a middle person between you and the producer most of the time. So um, you give that back and then they read the coverage. So they don't have to read the entire script. They can read one to five pages. Typically it's about two pages and get a gist of the screenplay based on a reader that they trust. It's very important, the trust factor, which is why we are here. <laughs> because we know that there's a lot of people out there reading scripts and we've noticed that there's a lot of people reading scripts and this coverage is, you know, aren't great. So we want coverage to be great. And also we are really passionate about trying to help writers. Um, readers are often called gatekeepers because if the reader says, nah, you know, mm -mm, then the, the get smart walls come down. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'm not missing. So the get smart walls come down and you're done. The writer's done, script gets tossed, whatever, and then they go on to the next thing. So the readers are very, very important and they can really make or break a writer's career. So it's really important to have a really good reader, right? If you're a writer, right? I know some writers out there, if you're watching this, you're like, oh, readers, because readers are, you know, they're the ones. So that's what a reader is basically. And the reason I kind of told you the path of it is because so then an agent is looking for writers, then they want to take that script and they want to give it to a production company, right? They get thousands of submissions, so they need readers. I mean, it's really a process. Actors are going to star in movies. They need readers. You know, it's it's there's so many people, even down to some costume designers and that kind of thing. They might even use readers. I mean, it's pretty wide open. And tel television, they use readers as well. And then there's contests. There's so many contests. So, um, oh, hang in there. Keep in there, Sheree. Another screen reader, Sheree, is also a screen reader. It's like celebrity sightings in here. So hopefully she can hop back on in a moment. So, um, yeah, the reader is very, uh, very, very important in the creative process. And that's why we are here. So we actually have, I actually wrote notes. See, look. <laughs> so proud of myself. I'm like a child. So that's one of the things. If you want to hang in there with us and us give you notes, you get me. Oops, sorry. Um, so I'm looking at last week's notes. It's not okay. Let's look at this week's notes. There it is. So, um, so that's basically the process. So the types of readers there are, see, it's a good thing I wrote notes, right? Um, there's the contests, which there's a lot of them, and you might even have one locally near you, wherever you are. And one of the cool things now, it used to be you had to actually live in Hollywood because you had to literally drive and go pick up, <laughs> I'm not joking, like 50 scripts. And it was great because I'm a mom, and so I would literally, I'd have my child in a stroller and I'd have piles of scripts on top. This is, this is my life, I'm not joking, this is totally, this was me. And then, I mean, scripts everywhere, everywhere, all over my car, all over, like everywhere. Now it's online. So you don't have to be quite, quite the Hercules in order to pick up scripts, but I can actually, literally, I could pick up a script. I can tell you without even opening it, if it's too long, too short, I can go like this and thumb through it and be like, this is a no. It's, it, that's how bad it can get for readers because they read so much. So now that it's all online, you don't necessarily have to you know, schlep to LA and back to get scripts. You can just get them sent to you. So, and even with that, it was very, um, there were many companies I read for that um, that, did, that did do it online, you know, and that <laughs> sound like a freaking dinosaur, but it is like, we got, you know, we started to do things online more and more. And so um, they used to have courier, okay, <laughs> I'm totally like back in the day, I'm not gonna go there. So anyway, once it started to get online, obviously it makes it much easier. So there are many companies that I read for for years without ever meeting anybody. It's kind of interesting. So now it's even more like that. And now, you know, things move so much faster because of the internet. So it's not like it was before the internet, just saying, but it is like just a lot faster now and a lot more, it's a lot easier to get content to each other. So that was a long winded way to say that you don't necessarily have to read you don't necessarily have to live in Hollywood, I mean. But the reason that I got on that squirrel is that um, 
contest. So you might have a contest that's actually in your area that you can read scripts for and be local about it. And some film festivals, there's film festivals everywhere now, and most of those have some sort of screenplay competition. You can read for that too. And also you can go sit on panels and it's really kind of fun. You can be social if you're social or not. Many re readers, <laughs> should I tell this story, Doug? <laughs> Many readers come out of their cave and they've got like crackers on their sweater. And they've been reading scripts way too long. Okay. And then uh, production companies is another place where you read uh, screenplays. I think I'm excited about the studio, which is why I'm a little bit hyper today. Anyway, um, production companies, and there's a lot of production companies, big, huge production companies, very small production companies. Production companies also tend to have to get a deal with a the distributor. They don't necessarily get the movie out themselves. All those distributors have to look at scripts. So like I'm saying, there is just a lot. So so we're getting some vid interrupted things. So hopefully hang in there. I think I know that the Wi-Fi is smoking here, so we shouldn't be having a problem. Hopefully you guys can catch up um, or watch the replay. Because um, I see the ducks with me, so I'm moving on. And then... Um, consultant that's a whole nother thing and I do that as well where you read scripts just for writers so you are helping the writer get the script to prepare that writer to get the script to the lawyer agent start the process so that's a whole nother like thing that readers can do if you don't want to deal with Hollywood at all and a just a little side note little school note um, I know there's a lot of stuff going on in Hollywood and there's a lot of people that are toppling and some of them rightly so others I don't know so but I just want to say I've never once, not once, not even tiny bit, have been harassed as a reader. Never. Never. Not at all. I have no Me Too stories as a reader. Other fields maybe, but not as a reader. Wonderful people that I've worked with from day one. Just want to throw that in there. There are good people in Hollywood because some of those people are getting a bad rap. So I just want to make sure that we're not lumping in everybody in one thing. So anywho, that's my soapbox for the moment. Um, and then there's other jobs that can lead to, which that's the whole other topic as well. So you can use the reading process, being a reader, as a stepping stone to other things. So basically, if you want more info, if I haven't totally scared you away, yay, Doug's here with no issues. I'm just going to check my messages. Pardon me. Okay. So, um, yeah, it can lead to a lot of really cool things. It's a fun job. It's cool because it's so... It's so flexible, like you can make your own schedule. You can read as many scripts as you want. You can read, a, I mean, I, I've read uh, like 30 scripts a week, like for a while. That was pretty consistently that. Um, you can read, you know, or work like workload like that. Or you can say, you know what? I only want to read a couple a week. I want a side thing, a little extra income. Um, you get paid per script, whole nother topic. Actually, actual more. We are going to be doing a live workshop. so we'll. Look out for that information. Uh, we'll have links for that later. That's not what we're here about today. Just want to let you know, but in that workshop, we dive into all of that. So I also have a free download that you guys can download and get the scoop. Um, if you text reader, the word reader, <laughs> is that clever? R-E-A-D-E-R, -E I can spell. If you text reader to 44222, and I'll put that in the links as well. Um, I mean, in the notes, or maybe Doug can do that. Text reader to 44222, you'll get the free download. How cool is that, right? And then you'll also, that also signs you up, full disclosure, to the mailing list. But in the mailing list, we don't stalk you. We have other things to do. But we do give you a lot of information about the reading process, all the different things you have to know, all the perks, all the compensation, all that stuff. So if you want more information, you can do that. You can join the private Facebook group, like I mentioned earlier, Hollywood Gatekeepers. See how we did that? It's the same. So join the private Facebook group. We're a little bit more um, detailed in there. And yeah you'll sign up for the workshop when that comes. So it is coming on a really special day. Does that give you a clue? So that's when that will be, links will be up. It's tomorrow the first? It's tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay, that was a movie. Trivia. All right, I think that's it. I think that's it. Thank you for joining us. Thank you to the screen readers, my lovely screen readers. <laughs> I'm so proud of them. They're really fantastic. And they are in the um, Hollywood Gatekeepers group. And then they're also in the paid course. And in there, we have our own little really private, very, very rocking Facebook group in the Screen Readers thing, too, which is really cool. So that's it for today. Can I think of anything else? You know, usually we do.
playtime at the end. Well, maybe I won't hear. In the screen readers group, we, we get really serious and we study a lot and tackle topics. Like today is how to love the movies you hate. That's what we're doing in our screen readers group today. And we really dive into how to write coverage for movies that you actually like hate just because you hate that genre or whatever. So like we cover all of that kind of thing. And and uh, and then we do playtime because life should be fun. This is supposed to be fun, like, right? Life is supposed to be fun. And that's one of the reasons this job is cool because it's fun, super fun. You get to read all these great movies. Well, some of them aren't so great, but actually, 5% are awful, 5% are insanely good, and everything else is in the middle. So they, they aren't all awful. And uh, yay, your wife is Heather, and she is wonderful. <laughs> She's rocking this. She actually came up with the topic for today's screen reader, Facebook Live. So that's really cool. Like I asked, just like, if you have a topic that you'd like me to do, I'm going to do a post about that later in here as well. So actually, I'm going to do it in the Facebook group. So you better join that Facebook group. So um, Heather's doing a fantastic job in there. Everybody, it's really fun. So I'm going to stop rambling. I'm kind of rambling now because I get excited. I get excited. We are really passionate about creating this group of screen readers that are not only smart, which they are incredibly smart and incredibly insightful and incredibly passionate about movies. That's kind of a given. But on top of that, we want solid coverage. Like we want a writer if the, cause often your coverage will get back to the writer. We want a writer to look at that coverage and be like, yes, they get me. They understand what I'm trying to do here. Not a writer who's like, yeah, you know, just a no sarcasm allowed. Like we are like really like getting writers or readers that will really promote writers that will try to kick that door open a little for writers as opposed to always slamming it shut. And that also they're nice people. We're teaching, we're not teaching people how to behave. They know how to behave, but we are reiterating how we want to be this rocking group of screen readers so that producers have a place to go to find their readers. So that's our goal. We've just gotten started um, just at the end of last year and now we're really rocking it. So we're having a great time. I will see you next week. We're going to do these every Wednesday and we're going to pick different topics. So I'll do a little post about what other topics we can do and let me know what you'd like to hear about. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in, Brian. It's really cool to see uh, a screen reader's spouse. That's cool. So, and uh, all of my screen readers for coming in and thanks, Doug. And we do want readers to support writers. So cool. So I will see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Good to see you. I like having my hands free. Okay. I won't go back to my directing days. All right. Talk to you guys next week. See you soon. Bye. If I can find the end button. And uh, bye.